Hello, welcome to Animes, another Ami Ami weekly roundup of figures. This will be from the 7th to the 11th of May, 2024. Uh, we'll get straight on into the figures. There's not too many this week, luckily, um, since the uh, 6th, which is the Monday, though, uh, Ami Ami was closed. So we'll get on into it. Uh, Nurse Datenchi Chan illustration by Thomas uh, for one sixth scale, manufactured by 18. Uh, November 2024. So this is a cast-off figure for 28,270 yen. Um, very uh, well-curved and endowed figure. Um, it's a pretty simple design, though, for a nurse. Uh, nothing overly... Uh, uh, yeah, it's relatively simple. Sculpt work is pretty, you no know, standard, I suppose. Um, there's no uh, sculpt. There's very... Uh, where it, the clothes pinch... The skin, obviously, that's quite well done. Um, but in terms of actual skin tone and stuff, it's overly pretty simple overall. So it is one sixth, pretty pricey. Um, but it is a you do get a couple of the different uh, swivel parts for the chest area and the lower part. Uh, November 2024 release, not too bad, but um, it is just another sort of nurse, um, you know, lewd nurse figure. Uh, Bunny girl Teddy one sixth. Uh, provisional uh, manufacturer Evening Rabbit, which is another new Chinese manufacturer I've not heard of. 6,740 yen. Uh, October 2024 release. Very simple design. Um, it's a bit more unique with it being a bunny figure uh, with a, a pole that she's handcuffed, well, and handcuffs. So it's not uh, your standard, you know, free, it's not as if it's lackluster freeing designs, um, but it is uh, not real tight, just painted on. Uh, relatively simple uh, bunny suit. I think you'd be buying this if you prefer like the face, and uh, if it's uh, the price, obviously, if the face and the price and the slight different pose that you get from normal uh, bunny suit figures uh, appeal to you, uh, then definitely potentially worth getting this one. Original character Kokamu slash uh, Yako one seventh by Animitsu. For 8,960 yen. Um, this seems to be like some sort of succubus or dragon, probably more of dragon lady um, aesthetic. But yeah, it's Animeister, so uh, a lot of people have really liked uh, figures that they've received. Um, they've been one sixth though, this is one cent, this is a bit smaller, uh, a bit more petite, but uh, seems to have a bit more intricacies in the design of this figure overall. Um, and this one is not cast off. Well, they mentioned it's not cast offable. I reckon it probably isn't. I think these are those that will be painted on. Uh, well, those the bits that are covering the private areas are sculpted on, most likely, and actually stuck on. I don't think you'll be able to remove them. Although it looks like they potentially could be removed. Um, someone might try force moving those off. But a very good looking figure. I like the design. Uh, the hair sculpt looks amazing as well. Um, for the money you get for this, uh, it's just worth potentially getting this. And if you just like the design overall, and it's not going to cost you too much, March 2025, you've got plenty of time to actually put uh, some uh, money aside for that figure. Um, I'll tell you, Sophia, uh, the alchemist of the mysterious book, Sophie, negligee version, one sixth by Spirit Tale for 21,780 yen, uh, December 2024 release. Uh, not too bad. Uh, these sorts of uh, negligee versions of the game characters that are coming out from the Atelier Sophia, they've been a bit lackluster with like Riser and the uh, uh, blonde one, I uh, can't remember her name. Uh, they Some people like them, some people don't. I'm not a huge fan of these, um, but I've not played the games, so I don't know if this character... Uh, would be up my alley, um, but the the base looks pretty good and the hair shading looks good. So o the overall paint job I think is fine uh, for Spirit Tail, but I don't know. It's just whether the uh, with it being a negligee version uh, is something you'd actually want in your collection or you'd prefer them in their standard outfit. I would prefer these game characters in their standard outfit. That's me personally. Binding fit uh, figure. Uh, Opinion, opinion Hong Long or Court Scale for 39,600 yen. So, with it being binding, it's obviously a cast off. Uh, December 2024. This was a bit more unique with it being sort of like a China dress design uh, or very skimpy China dress design, I guess you could say. Uh, and obviously, being a bunny, uh, bunny's design as well with the real netting, uh, real stockings. 
the red and the brown I like the design of. Uh, the pose, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of this sort of kneeling pose like this. Um, I'd prefer them to be more upright or whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I like this one on the right, which I think is the other version that will be coming out in a little, in a bit, little bit, or may, like maybe next week or whatnot. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but I prefer this one um, over th uh, this uh, opinion Hong Long. Um, not too bad overall, but I would prefer. Uh, it's not one of my favourite binding figures, uh, to say the least. Uh, Tower Fancy Liu Huao Mochi Quinju version, one seventh by Animista. 13,870 yen. Uh, this one's a obviously from a natural IP, so I can understand the price being higher on this one as they've got to pay licensing for this one. So this one's an actual licensed figure. So if Animates they can keep sort of their licensed figures at you know sub 15,000 and they can maintain this quality, it's a very nice design. The sculpt looks really good. Uh, the yes, so you've got these uh, see-through acrylics for the effect parts, but that's I think it's just something you have to put up with, unfortunately. But overall, looks really good. Um, definitely closer to you know 18, 20,000 yen quality. As long as the final product uh, comes out as good, um, at least we can sort of gauge now where their non-licensed ones are. You know, sub 10,000. Uh, you're close to like 8,000 or 7,000 yen. And then their, uh, this is their first sort of licensed one. I've seen come out at least on Ami Ami uh, that is from Ami Star, that's you know licensed so it looks like you know, 5,000, 6,000 yen is about where it is for them to put in to the cost for licensing so not too bad and it's uh, good to see that um, people, uh, other uh, IP holders are actually willing to give a an Ami Star a shot um, as well. Uh, gem, a couple of gems f figures to look at. Series Yu Yu Hakusho Palm Sized Yusuke Urame uh, Urameshi uh, by Mega House for 6,730 yen. Uh, just a pretty simple design. Uh, yeah, and uh, he's from an older anime, so the overall uh, design uh, is not outlandish or anything. It's just pretty simple uh, but clean. Um, so that's quite good. And then we've also got a series movie Blue Lock episode Nagi. Uh, for 6,980 yen, uh, not too bad looking figure. Again, the gem series is just palm, uh, relatively cheap, sort of prize figure quality uh, and effort. And then we've got um, Tetsuro Kuro as well uh, from Haikyuu, uh, which obviously a lot of people like Haikyuu. I'm not into sports anime, so it's not something I've watched. Uh, but we've got this guy as well. Uh, and then we got Gem Series One Piece uh, Nefertari Vivi uh, one 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 uh, for six thousand seven hundred thirty yen. So this is not a palm sized one, but um, I do like this one. This one's adorable. I think this is something worth potentially uh, more so getting than the other palm ones, as this is or this part of their run 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 lineup. It looks like or um, uh, or they're just normal Gem Series. I as you can see here in this picture, you got a bunch of them here. They're different characters from One Piece. Uh, very cute and adorable. I think potentially worth it if you're big into One Piece, but you don't want to get like full scales and uh, spend loads of money. Then uh, I'll get the look at this gem Aaron uh, on series uh, to, to collection or uh, start collecting these. Pop up parade, chain soldier Kyoka Yuzin, uh, four thousand three hundred twenty yen. Pretty simple. Uh, at least it comes with a sword, so it makes it a bit better. The hair sculpt looks pretty good as well. Uh, it's not this just super simple other 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 pop parades where it's just the character and no accessories, um, and for a decent price. But uh, pop parades are a bit hit and miss as they generally are these days. Senki uh, Sezuro Symphro Gear GX Carol uh, Malice by Hobby Stock for twenty eight thousand five hundred yen is on the pricey side but um the overall quality at least in these photos is really well done sculpting like on the outfit and the cloak uh looks pr really good and the paint job looks uh, very is very matte and satin uh, but i think it works with this fantasy uh, design for this character um and with the removable head as well, uh, hat as well very good looking design very good looking figure i do like it a lot but i think it's a bit pricey um so you have to wait and see. One seventh scale. Um, not too bad looking figure. Uh, I just don't know if uh, I would be willing to pay that price. But 
it's a very good quality figure. Um, very uh, good take from Hobby Stock. Uh, from Hobby Stock, we've got Shinobi Master Senran Kagura, New Link Murasaki, uh, sexy nurse version, quarter scale, for 33,790 yen. Uh, this being quarter scale, this is something I would rather spend the extra money on compared to the other one. Um, and it being cast off, um, it's definitely much more the not safe work figure. Uh, I do like the overall design, but a lot of these previous quarter scale Senran Kagura ones from Hobby Stock have uh, gone down in price, or in the pre-owned they've, uh, they're, they've they're a bit cheaper uh, than the release date, anyways. Uh, so they don't generally seem to skyrocket in price like Binding uh, usually. I'm not sure if it's just that because they're uh, cheaper, they're not as good quality as Binding. Uh, even though they their pricing is about the same, so um, a very good looking figure. Uh, I quite like, obviously, with it being cast off as something I would be tempted to get hold of. But I've got so many other quarter scales coming out later in the year that I've got. Uh, this one I'm gonna have to give a miss. I might just have to pick up for uh, on the aftermarket or pre-owned. Toru Kagaguku no Rail uh, T Kuroko Shirai. Good small art showing out, 16,800 yen. This one, I'm not too sure about this. Very simple figure, um, not much going on. The base is very simple. Um, I don't think this is worth the price. Not 16, you know, 17,000 yen for this, really. Um, and then we've got uh, Makoto uh, Misaka as well for the same price. It seems like you'd buy both as a pair um, and I think for the quality you potentially they should have just done a bundle and charged like 24,000 yen for both of them um, really is what I would expect for this considering the base is just fake grass and it's not even sculpted or anything it's just a, a carpet I guess um, that's fine I suppose but yeah I think these are going to bomb in the after, uh, after the release to Love Rue Darkness, Golden Darkness Wedding Dress Version by Kadokawa for 17,820 yen. Coming out in November 2024. Uh, so you can take the, reduce the frill of the dress at least. So you've got two versions of that. Um, if you prefer more leg or you prefer the more traditional wedding dress. Looks perfectly fine. I think I've covered this before actually in a previous video. So this might just be a re-release uh, of the uh, of the pre-order at least before, the pre before she gets uh, released. Um, quite a good looking figure. Um, obviously, we get a lot of Telovery figures, anyways. So, if you missed this one, there will probably be more Telovery figures in the future, anyways. Um, or with it being Katakawa, I think they they won't. I don't think they skyrocket in price in the aftermarket, anyways, because they do make a decent number of them. So, you should be able to pick them up, uh, pick them up after release, anyways. Overlord uh, Nabaral Gama Bunny version, quarter scale by Freeing, thirty nine thousand six hundred yen. Um, this one is cast off just like Albedo uh, from Freeing, which I think is uh, another plus uh, with this one. Uh, yep, so mentions here, cast offable. I have pre-ordered this one. I'm going to be getting this one because I've got Albedo, so I'm going to have to get uh, Nebo or Gama and get Shalt here when she comes out as well. I like the suit. It's a Freeing. It's pretty simple, um, as well as pretty much all Freeing figures, um, but it is cast off, so it's just a pl plus to me. Um, and I hopefully they do more of the other uh, maid, battle maids from Overlord in the uh, Freeing quarter scales. That would be nice. But yeah, Shaltir. And then it looks like we're going to be getting another a recolor of the Albedo quarter scale as well in the future, so I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Whether I'll get the quarter scale recolor of Albedo. Very tempted to, just so then I've got both versions. Um, but I don't know, I have to see when she gets released. Uh, when the pre order comes out, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Mie 1 7th by Good Smile for 15,800 yen. A uh, bit of a steal actually for a Xenoblade character, uh, much more of a lower price than other Xenoblade characters um, or figures that have been released. And I would reckon this will probably be going up quite a bit in the future once she's actually out in the market and you can't buy her anymore. So uh, I'll pick this up if you're a big Xenoblade fan, especially if you've played Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Uh, I've not played any of the Xenoblade games. I sang I should probably play, start playing through, but I don't I own any Nintendo consoles or anything like that, I'm afraid. Uh, very good looking figure. I like the suit. Sculpt looking work looks good. So I think Good Smile done a very good job on this one. Uh, Yuru Fuwa made bunny illustration by uh, Masami Chi 1/6. A manufacturer literary for 21,040 yen. 
Um, this one is not a cast off, at least it doesn't mention that it's cast off ball. Um, but this one's a very uh, alluring, um, a lewd made uh, bunny suit, bunny, yeah, made bunny figure. So, a combination of made and bunny um, design. Pretty simple overall, you know, it's just a bikini, bunny ears, and uh, tights, and which are actual uh, stockings on this figure. Uh, but the quality of those stockings won't be as good as like freeing or binding, obviously. Uh, for the price, mm, I, if it was actually cast off ball, I think it should probably be worth it. Um, but this is not cast off ball, unfortunately. Unless they've not mentioned it, and then uh, well, if people get her in their hands and she's cast off ball, then that might uh, change my opinion. Tenetal Yuru Camp Season 3, Ayano Toki, uh, for 6,380 yen. If you like Yuru, uh, Yuru Camp, then uh, this is going to be an auto include, I think. Uh, since you don't get tons of, obviously, get lots of Nendroids uh, off the off Zoo. I think the entire lineup has been uh, released in Nendroid form already. Uh, but whether uh, we don't get tons of scales of Yuru Camp, so um, Tenetal, Furu, Tenetal, um, yeah, are doing a good job of this. And obviously, Tenetal, have, uh, they've really raised the bar uh, over the past sort of year with their, um, t uh, well, Furu have raised the bar with their Tenetal lineup. So I think worth getting if you're big into Yuru Camp. Kana Suburashi Seke ni Bakuan uh, Union DX version 1 8 by Belfine for 18,700 yen. Pretty decent discount on this one. October 2024. Uh, like the sculpt, like the paint job, um, and I like the base as well. Uh, very uh, fun and adding uh, the muted, like matte colors or satin colors that we've got going on over the figure. It looks really well done like the pose a uh, very fun looking figure i think you can have this in any uh with any other characters that are in a fancy magical universe uh, from other anime so definitely worth getting i think if you really do like kind of super as well i've not watched this uh, anime so i really should watch uh but yeah looking good dx version doesn't come with anything extra okay i don't know why it's the dx version uh, Detective Conan, Conan uh, Edagawa and Phantom Thief Kid, 1 7th by Furu for 21,780 yen. So this is kind of like two figures in one, really. Um, and Detective Conan's obviously a much beloved uh, anime, uh, one of the classics. Uh, if you're a long time anime uh, watcher, uh, then you've I've heard of Conan, Detective Conan, but I've not watched Detective Conan. It's a song I really should get around to watching. February 25 release. Everything looks good on this one. Uh, the Sculpt work, the sculpt work looks good. The scaling looks correct from what I remember seeing about the anime of these two characters. Uh, definitely worth getting a hold of if you really like Detective Conan and you uh, like to get the older anime uh, in your collection, like Cowboy Bebop, um, uh, Berserk, stuff like that. Ajalane Hatsuku August. Uh, first romance version, one sixth by any game, seventeen thousand five hundred fifty yen. Uh, so, pretty good looking sculpt look. Definition looks really well done. Uh, the abs look really well done. This figure hair looks pretty good, um, and you got two uh, chibis there, uh, looking good. It looks like you can reposition those chibis as well. So yeah, you can move those around. So they probably are stuck to each other, but uh, at least you can reposition them. She's just lying down, so no base. But this one, you probably want to, uh, you know, include some sort of a diorama with this figure on your shelf. Uh, and a relatively decent price. Yep, good looking figure. Bates Grand Order Caster Altria Caster One Seventh by uh, Good Smile Company for twenty seven thousand eight hundred yen. This one's going to be a massive figure. It's going to take up a lot of space in your collection. That and that giant like two handed claymore sword looks really well done. Um, definitely one of the better weapon sculpts and the paint jobs we've seen from uh, a fake character series. But they always seem to do their uh, weapons really good, uh, well done. Um, I don't think there's any really any fake uh, figures that are like terrible. Um, and it's good smile, so 
But yeah, it's going to be really well done. May 2025, so you've got a year to save up for this one. It is expensive, one seventh, but she's going to take up. She's a, there's a lot going into this figure. Um, very tall, very wide as well, with obviously parts of the outfit and the weapon coming outside the circumference of the base. I think leaning will be the biggest concern with this figure. Um, uh, especially and the joint between the weapon and her hand if that's the only su one point of contact in this then uh, a lot of people might be getting worried hopefully they include some sort of uh, see-through support strut that can you could put on the blade here to at least support that stop that uh, drooping and potentially snapping at the wrist Hololive production Iro Kazama 17 by Clanel for 25,500 yen uh, this one's a very cute design. I love the design of this one. Very um, spring-like. Um, the bamboo shoots at the base look really good. The uh, panda bear or red red panda bear looks like. Looks uh, very cute and adorable. Uh, I think this one's worth the price. Well, not a decent price. Um, I think Clanel uh, a pretty decent manufacturer. They've definitely increased the quality over the past sort of year from what I've seen. Uh, they weren't a very well-respected uh figure collection for the, uh, the first few years or the first few figures that they released uh, uh, Proplica The Legend of Zelda Master Sword The Legend of Zelda uh, by Bandai Spirits for 20,900 yen pre-orders are now closed I think everyone's pre-ordered this one uh, to get a replica of the uh, Master Sword uh, so this would have been yeah one meter in length so a single shipment this has been insanely expensive to get uh, get shipped to you at least. Anyways, price for a replica is not too bad. Um, but yeah, I think I can understand why this sold out sh really quickly. And you get sheath with it as well. Um, yeah, maybe keep an eye on it. Um, bookmark it, add it to your... Uh, uh, yeah, to keep an eye on it. And then when it comes to September, check it every day. And then for which... And then just see which day it gets released. And you might be able to pick... Might be able to snag one if someone's cancelled their order. Uh, but I can't think of uh, someone who's going to cancel their order. They probably put this money aside instantly for this. Um, I'm surprised they didn't do uh, more uh, like swords because there's quite a lot of swords in anime um, that cat that they can just do. Or oh, this is obviously a game, but they I think Bandai should do more of these replica swords from all sorts of anime like Bleach, um, uh, Demon Slayer. Uh, you know, there's loads out there they can do. Um, swords are, with it is so ingrained into Japanese culture, uh, so they're ingrained into just a wide variety of anime as well. Uh, Cho Mocho, uh, one sixth by Koi Koi, six thousand six hundred yen. Another man new brand new manufacturer. I've never seen any other releases from this uh, ch Chinese manufacturer. Pretty simple design though, so they're not going overly bored, overly uh, overboard with it. But the sculpt look work looks really good. Hair shading and sculpting looks really good as well in this figure, uh, and looks like you get two multiple face plates, which is another bonus that you don't see at this price range uh, with uh, like traditional Japanese manufacturers. So six thousand six hundred yen, good price. Good, I'd take a stab at it if um, you like swimsuit figures. Uh, gem series Bleach, Byakugan Kuchi, Thousand Year Bud Walk by Meg House for 29,700 yen. Uh, definitely a fan favourite from the Bleach series. Uh, sculpting looks. His kimono looks pretty bland in terms of the shading, but I think there might be more shading. There's a bit more shading in the south area, but that might just be down to lighting. So you've got some pink highlights in his kimono down here, but it's very like uh, glossy and satin at the top here which i think just takes away from it a bit um his face looks fine but his hair looks pretty crap in terms of the actual molding uh sculpting and the effect parts of his uh shikai are pretty terrible as well unfortunately maybe give this one a miss uh lucria persona 5 royal navi uh futaba sakura mega house twenty six thousand four hundred yen uh, October 24. Uh, not per play Persona 5, but I can understand this is going to be a lot of people like this one. The overall design, she's just like floating in the air. It's very uh, uh, intricate. Uh, well, the way they achieve it 
is pretty interesting. And I like the base work effect that they've got going on here. Very sci-fi, you know, in cyberspace uh, esque um, sort of matrix uh, aesthetic going on here. So I think a lot of people definitely will be wanting to get this figure. And finally, we've got uh, Gal's series rebuild of Evangelion. Misoto, Katsuri, and Pen Pen version 2, complete figure, from Make House for 19,580 yen, October 2024. This is one I would be very tempted to get since we don't get a lot of these um, Misato figures. Obviously, it's normally the other girls like Rei and Asuka. Um, but yeah, uh, Misoto, I'm glad they're doing the second version. I think I've seen the first version, um, it was released a good number of years ago. Um, I would be tempted to get this one, but I've got so much uh, coming out in October. I uh, just don't be able to fit this in the budget, unfortunately. So I might, I'll have to pick this one up um, after release on the aftermarket uh, pre-owned. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, worth getting hold of if you're big into Evangelion, which I do like Evangelion. I really should get some figures from there from them. Uh, it's definitely what a good anime to well, not a good anime to watch, but um, one that you probably should watch if you like. Uh, old anime and uh, you're a long time uh, you like the whole breadth of anime uh, since it's obviously it's got a long history uh, to get so even Gillian's one of those um, iconic ones that you should just uh, watch uh, really if you're uh, big into anime uh, yep and that does it for this uh, video please comment like and subscribe uh, let me know if there's anything else uh, any other ser thing other videos you would want me to make uh, in the future and I shall catch you in next week's video on Amiami figure releases. Thank you much and goodbye